Pre-exposure prophylaxis is a highly effective HIV prevention strategy that involves the use of medication to reduce the risk of acquiring the human immunodeficiency virus before exposure. It is an important tool in the fight against the spread of HIV, particularly among high-risk populations. It has revolutionized HIV prevention and when used correctly, PrEP is up to 99% effective at preventing HIV. A good candidate for pre-exposure prophylaxis is an individual who is HIV negative but at a high risk of acquiring the human immunodeficiency virus. Individuals who frequently engage in unprotected intercourse, whether due to preference or difficulties with consistent condom use, should consider PrEP to reduce their risk of HIV transmission. People who inject drugs Sharing needles and equipment for drug injection is a high-risk behavior for HIV transmission. Individuals with a history of sexually transmitted infections. Individuals with HIV-positive partners. Individuals in serodiscordant relationships, where one partner is HIV-positive and the other is HIV-negative, can benefit from PrEP. It helps reduce the risk of HIV transmission within the relationship. Two medications have been approved for pre-exposure prophylaxis to prevent HIV infection. Tenofovir disoproxil fumarate and Intricitabine. The brand name for this drug is Truvada. Truvada is a fixed-dose combination tablet that contains two antiretroviral drugs, tenofovir disoproxil fumarate and Intricitabine. It is taken once daily. Truvada was the first medication approved for PrEP in the United States. It has been shown to be highly effective in reducing the risk of HIV infection when taken as prescribed. The second medication is tenofovir olefinamide and Intricitabine. The brand name for this drug is Discavi. Discavi is another fixed-dose combination tablet that contains tenofovir olefinamide and Intricitabine. It is also taken once daily. Discavi received FDA approval for PrEP use as an alternative to Truvada. It has been found to be effective in reducing the risk of HIV infection, and it may have certain safety advantages for bone and renal health compared to Truvada. A long-acting injectable form of PrEP has also been approved. A Predud, or Cabogravir is for people at risk for HIV through sex and those who weigh at least 77 pounds. It's an injection given by your health care provider every other month instead of daily oral pills. Pre-exposure prophylaxis is generally well tolerated by most individuals, but like any medication, it can have side effects. Gastrointestinal distress. This includes symptoms like nausea, diarrhea, and abdominal discomfort, which are usually mild and temporary. They may improve after the first few weeks of starting PrEP. Some individuals may experience mild to moderate headaches as a short-term side effect, which often diminishes over time. A feeling of tiredness or fatigue can be a short-term side effect, but it's usually mild and not severe. Skin rashes are infrequent but considered short-term side effects. Bone or muscle pain is another short-term side effect that is generally mild and can often be managed with over-the-counter pain relievers. Weight changes, either gaining or losing weight. These changes can be due to a variety of factors, including metabolic effects of the medication. Long-term use of tenofovir-based PrEP has been associated with a decrease in bone density, particularly for individuals at risk of osteoporosis or with pre-existing bone issues. However, it is usually not a major concern for most people. Long-term use of tenofovir-based PrEP can affect kidney function in some individuals. Regular monitoring of kidney function is important to catch any potential issues early. Kidney problems are relatively rare but can be serious if left unmonitored. While rare, PrEP can affect liver function in some individuals. Liver function should be monitored through regular blood tests. The duration for which pre-exposure prophylaxis is taken can vary depending on an individual's risk factors and circumstances. Here are some common scenarios for how long PrEP may be taken. Continuous use for those with ongoing high-risk behavior, PrEP is taken continuously to provide year-round protection against HIV. Seasonal use PrEP is used during specific risk-prone periods. Event-driven PrEP Taken before and after high-risk events, suitable for infrequent risk. Short-term use PrEP is used for shorter durations, such as travel to high-risk areas or special events. Pre-exposure prophylaxis for HIV is generally safe when used as prescribed and under the guidance of a healthcare provider. PrEP has undergone extensive clinical testing, and its safety profile is well established. However, like any medication, there are considerations and potential side effects that we've discussed before. 
The safety of PrEP should be weighed against its significant benefits in preventing HIV infection, especially in populations at high risk. And that's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with those who might benefit from this information. Subscribe to our channel for more content on health and well-being, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching. Until next time.